This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Making yourself some 3D models using your old record player. Not really, but we're going to talk about this next. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Gazelle.com. Turn in your old iPhone into cash. Visit TPN.TV slash cash. Hey, everybody. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine.com and the Tech Podcast Network over at TPN.TV. We're here with Drew from Matterform, correct? Yes, that's right. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? I'm doing great. What... Well, first of all, this is a really cool idea because it really does look like the record player I had as a kid <laughs> yeah. here. Um, but this is all about 3D modeling and being able to do that in the home. And I'm, I'm assuming there's a there's a big need for this, right? Yeah, I mean, if you've got a 3D printer, most people don't know how to make 3D models. So this was designed specifically to help you start to create 3D models at home. And I'm also, you know, I also do a lot of video stuff working in After Effects. And I got I got these programs that's like import a 3D model and then we'll make it do everything. And it's right. like, where do I get these 3D models from? Right. Well, I can start making them myself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this guy was designed from clay and that's that's really what we designed it for. You take a piece of clay, model it. People know how to use their hands, not not computer modeling software. So Yeah, and uh, and I well, I asked the question, well, what if I wanted to get my face if I, uh, as a headshot, a bust? And, and you said... Uh, yeah, you'd have to you'd have to take a cast of your face or, or or make it out of clay first. You can't or lob off your hand if you want to scan your hand. You'd have to take it off of your uh, wrist. No, no, I need my hand for no, this. Okay, so, right. so basically, how big how big of an item can you put on this thing? So the size restriction is six and a half inches diameter, which is the size of the bed there, and about nine inches tall. Uh, but to be honest, if you want to get the top of the object, you have to be a little bit shorter than that. So about seven inches, seven and a half inches. Are you going to make bigger versions as you go? We're thinking about it. Not quite sure. We want to hear back from our users about what they want to see. We definitely want to do something a little higher resolution, uh, maybe a little higher price point okay. for some of the professionals. Uh, but uh, but honestly, this is this is knocking on the door of some of the professional scanners right now. Well, uh, it, it, it's importing into this computer. Uh, are, are, do you have software for the PC, Mac? Is it, it does it matter? Or? Right away, it's PC for the first couple of months. We'll be and then we'll be releasing Mac and Linux uh, right after that. Oh, oh, even a Linux version. That's that's cool. So how? Um, so a guy like this. How long is he, is he going to take to actually uh, do a model? Yeah, this guy is about uh, 18 minutes. 18 minutes. And we're scanning him at a medium resolution. So. Uh, okay. It depends on the size and the resolution of the object. Uh, going going small, uh, anywhere from five to ten minutes on low resolution. Largest object, big, longest it's ever taken for me is about forty-five minutes. All right. Well, we're going to talk about it a little bit more and find out uh, price and availability, and we'll do that next. All right. We'd like to thank our 2014 sponsor, Gazelle. You can sell your your devices for cash. Now, we're here at a trade show that, that shows off new products. So you might have the old version of that tablet or that smartphone, and now you know that there's a new version out and you're going to go buy it. So go and go over to Gazelle right now and lock down the rate for your device. And then when it's time to buy that new one, then you've got that lockdown rate and go from there. Gazelle, they have smartphones, tablets, computers. They can then redistribute it, or if it needs to be recycled, they'll do it properly, the green and efficient way. Check it all out. Go over to tpn.tv forward slash cash, tpn.tv forward slash cash, and thank you very much for being a sponsor over at tpn.tv. All right, we're back. We're here with Drew from Matterform, and uh, really cool stuff, being able to actually create 3D models uh, to put into the computer for uh, maybe doing some sort of interesting 3D stop animation or or just uh, sending something to a 3D printer, uh, of course. So um, you guys have been, how, how long have you been in the company here? Yeah, the company is less than a year old, actually. We're just coming up to our first year anniversary. Okay, and, and did you do any type of crowdfund to get it started, or you you got your own funding on? This? Yeah, we were we were funded on Indiegogo last year, and uh, we were trying to raise eighty thousand dollars, and ended up uh, raising four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. So it was a pretty good success. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. So I personally would like to see a little bit bigger there, because there's a lot of stuff here that uh, things that I'd love to do 3Ds. But you know, of, of course, it's all it's all about what the people really need. When's the available? When's it going to be out? And what are we talking about for price points? Yeah. Uh, so the unit goes for 579 US right now, okay. uh, and it comes with everything, including the software. 
and we're looking at trying to ship for February. We're trying to beat the, the rush right now, so we're doing our best, but uh, fingers crossed because we're, we're a little new at this. Does it come with this guy? Uh, no. no. Okay. All right, well, where do people go for more information? Uh, they can go to matterform.net, and uh, all our information is there, including sample scans. All right. Uh, oh, oh, so I could scan something up. And could I put it onto your website so for other people to use? Uh, we're, yeah, that might that secret yes. might might okay. be available <laughs> in the in the future, in the coming future. Yeah, we got an exclusive there. <laughs> might be available in the future, so it's going to be coming. So, right. all right. Well, Drew, thank. Uh, right. Where do people go for information? Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, go to matterform.net, please. Matt. All right, and you know it's CES. There's lots of videos, and we've got lots of stuff. Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine and the Tech Podcast Network over at TPN.TV. Check out all the cool videos. Get yourself a Matterform 3D uh, 3D scanner for your 3D printer, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.